What if I told you that I found an AI Discord community manager? I've been testing this Discord bot out that's meant to be like an AI community manager. And honestly, I think that it's better. If you're running a Discord community, you're struggling to get moderation support, you don't know how to manage your community, you don't know how to engage your members. What if I were to tell you that this AI community manager could read all the information you give it about your project or your community and then answer your members' questions in your Discord? It can track all the KPIs that you actually need to manage your community. Here's what really blew my mind. It can give you recommendations on how to improve your community. It's like an AI version of me. In this video, I'm going to cover who should actually consider using this AI community manager, how it can help you with your community and how to get started. So let's go. All right, so take a look at this tool. It's called Community One and it has several tools all rolled into one bot. So you just have to download one Discord bot and then you can choose the different tools within this bot that you want to activate. So in terms of who would benefit from this type of bot, if you are struggling to moderate your community, number one. So if you've got tons of people in your community, well done, because that's an awesome problem to have. But maybe you need more support and you're struggling to find more moderators to help within your community. Or maybe you're just a solo founder and you just don't have time to answer all these questions and deal with a community by yourself. I think this is a great bot to consider because they have a tool within this bot called Spark, which will help you answer member questions based on all the resources that you give it, whether you have a white paper, whether you have website, all the resources, throw that at the bot, it'll learn, it'll understand, and then it'll start answering questions in real time in your community. I'll show you that a little later. Now, if you're looking for in-depth analytics and you find that the Discord analytics that are provided are just not good enough, then the great thing is Community One has this tool called Analytics and it really provides further in-depth data. And lastly, probably one of the most exciting aspects of this bot is called ACE. This is the AI powered custom community management recommendation. Think of it like the AI community coach. Yes, I'm telling you about this tool because I think it's amazing. And if you don't have the resources to hire your own consultant or somebody that's very experienced at managing community, but you've got a community on Discord and you need some help with rec recommendations, but maybe you've got a community on Discord, you've already started it, you've got members that are already talking, maybe you've got some negative sentiments or they're just not engaging, you're just dealing with challenges and you need some help, then ACE is going to be an amazing tool for you especially because you can just download it right into your server. It'll pay attention to all the things that are happening in your server, all the chat content, the sentiment, etc. And then you can talk to it like a human and ask for advice on how to improve your community. I'll show you that a little later too. So this tool is great for both Web2 and Web3 communities. I know there's a lot of Web3 communities that are rebooting or they're starting fresh because there's a new wave, which is awesome. I really, really hope that there's been some lessons learned from all the things that have happened in the past, but it's exciting to see this tool come up. And so if you're a Web3 community and you're looking for some additional AI tools to help you with moderation, with analytics, with recommendations to improve your community, then this tool is going to be an amazing resource for you. Okay, so let's take a look firstly at Spark, which is the bot that will help answer questions for you on your behalf as if you were a community manager or a moderator in the community, and it will answer members' questions based on information that you've given it. So the key here is you want to make sure that you're providing quality information. The quote, rubbish in, rubbish out, definitely applies here. So you've got to provide quality white papers, quality information about your community and any questions that typically you would see coming up. You want to provide it with all the information in a way that it understands how to answer questions that would come up in your community. One of the things that really excites me about this tool is that Spark has smart listening. So it's going to be actually listening to the conversations that are happening in your community 
and when it picks up on certain questions that are coming through it will actually wait a certain period of time so you can set how long it would wait to see whether maybe like a human would answer it first because obviously you know you want a human to answer before you have an AI but it's just generally people prefer it but having said that it's better to get an answer than no answer at all so this is where the AI bot can shine because you can set a time limit. Say, you're, say you've say you got a Discord server that is just running very, very quickly through and you wanna make sure that people's questions are answered, then you could set that time frame really, really quick. Like maybe it's one minute, two minute, five minutes, et cetera, that if that question is not answered in your community, this AI bot Spark will just swoop in and help answer those questions. It makes sure that all the members in your community are supported, especially if you don't have enough moderators. Do you have a global community and you don't have enough moderators to deal with the downtimes? This is where this tool can really shine. So you can use this tool on those off peak hours and make sure that people feel like, okay, there's still activity happening in all parts of the world. I'm not going to pretend that this tool is as good as human touch it's not as good because people still love to interact with real human beings you know it's still going to take a while for these tools to really truly feel like somebody is chatting with a human but honestly these ai tools have come far you can completely customize this tool so that it sounds like a member in your community you want to make sure that the tone is right and and another huge benefit of this tool is that you can test it before you let it out in the wild in your Discord server. I definitely recommend testing it. You wanna make sure that any questions that come up, it's not going to create this jarring response that throws off everything in your community where people just feel like, oh, this is community is now just full of bots and I don't really feel like I've got that human touch. So you've gotta make sure that you customize, that you're constantly evaluating how the community members dealing with having this bot in the community and it's really important that you're paying attention to that. Now I mentioned that you could also do quests. I'm actually going to skip over that. Feel free to take a look in more detail around that. It is very cool. You can create your own like Dungeons and Dragons adventures is what they say. It's guided by an AI game master. I haven't played around with this too much in depth. Maybe I'll do a separate video. If you want a separate video on that, let me know, comment below. But I'm just gonna pass on this one because the three main tools in Community One, I would say, are Spark, the Analytics, and the AI Community Manager. So let's keep rolling through. Okay, let's take a look at the Analytics. The Discord Analytics are okay. They're not amazing. And so what is great about this is you can get more comprehensive analytics. You can track daily engagement. You can compare activity trends. If you have a lot of moderators, then you can actually compare their effectiveness, which I think is amazing. So if you've got a team of community moderators, then gain some insights into how they're doing and make sure that these moderators are performing really well for your community. It's great that you can see analytics like the daily new chat users. So you can see how many new people are entering the community and ensure that they're feeling properly managed and onboarded. That's super important. So if you've got huge spikes in new chats, then maybe you're gonna increase your content around the new members and making sure that their experience is as best as it can be. What I will add to this though, is I don't want death by analytics. I don't want you to be completely obsessed with the analytics to the point that you focus more on that than providing the best experience in your community. Analytics, I feel like follow your actions. So if you focus more on providing value to your community, then you should notice in the analytics that they improve over time. So I would look at it more as a tracking mechanism rather than obsessing over metrics. We live in this like era where we're obsessed with likes, follows, comments, posts, and you know, looking at all these numbers and a lot of times they don't actually mean anything. So make sure that you're focusing on what's important and you can use these analytics to make sure that you're on track and that you're doing a good job. All right, lastly, and this is the one that I'm super psyched about, it's your community co-pilot ace. So like I've mentioned, if you don't have the budget to hire your own community consultant to properly audit your Discord, 
which is a service that I provide, to be honest. I think it's really great that you have this tool that you can download onto your Discord server. And as your AI partner, it's going to help recommend ways to improve your server based on all the insights, all the things that are happening in your community. I've actually taken a look at some of the insights that it's providing. And some of these insights are community coach approved. So I think it's, it's awesome. Honestly, if you don't have the budget, then really I think downloading ACE and ensuring that you are creating safe spaces for your community members, that you're providing spaces that are engaging, that are de delivering value. I mean, this AI community manager will bring up things like your members have said that they're stuck in XYZ stage or the members have asked for more events and they're not getting them and they're getting upset about that. And you can take these as practical insights and go ahead and deliver more value to your members. Go ahead and make sure that you can convert negative sentiment into positive sentiment. I'm all for using this AI community co-pilot even more so than the analytics because I think this is stuff that you can really take away and go and improve your community. So I highly recommend trying ACE. Okay, lastly, I wanna talk about how easy it is to set up Community One on your Discord server. I'll leave the link below, so you can just go straight to their website. They have a link, you can download it onto your server and it gives you options. I've mentioned there's the different tools within the bot. So there's the Spark AI, which will help answer members' questions. There's the analytics, there's a community guru known as Ace. So you've got these different features that you can download. You're not forced to download all of them. You can just focus on the features that you actually need. So say you're only interested in the analytics, you can go ahead and just use those. This is what you see when you go ahead and download the server. So I've just downloaded it onto my test server because that's how I start to test some bots. But the best thing about this is actually you can test this in a live community and you don't have to worry about the interactions of members being thrown off because they actually have already created a test version for you within your community server. So it won't actually impact your community live, which is awesome. So you see these configuration guides and you just go ahead and press configure me. It comes up with this window and like I said, you can just turn these on and off. So Spark AI, Analytics and Ace, you just go ahead and turn them off, turn them on and then you can go back to your server. You can check the status and go through and customize each one. I highly recommend checking out their Git book because there's tons of information about their different tools and how to make the most out of them. And I'll drop a link to that below as well so that you've got access to that. But it really goes through how these tools work. How do you actually do a test rather than deploy it live? And then also how do you deploy it live? I rate the fact that with these tools, it's really intuitive to set up in the back end. So for instance, Spark, where you're trying to upload documents to the bot so that it can learn more about your community and get ready to answer questions by your members in real time, you have to just upload docs to it. And again, rubbish in, rubbish out definitely applies, but it's, it's simply a matter of converting all of your documents to text format. That's easy enough to do, you know, PDFs, et cetera. If you've got any other document format, unfortunately it doesn't support that yet, but you can convert these formats. It's worth your time to go to Google, look up how to convert PDF to text. It's totally doable and you can create these resources for the bot to then manage your community for you. It's worth your time because then you can just upload these docs and the bot can get working and be a moderator for you. It gives you tons of information about what this text should look like. And again, this is really, really important because if you read this carefully and you pay attention to their rules, the bot's going to work better for you. You can also create these custom bots that are permanent memories. I like to think of them as like core memories for your bot. Like no matter what happens, it always has to remember the instructions. So for instance, you are a funny version of Elon Musk is one of the examples that they gave. Like if there's something that you really don't want your bot to ever stop doing or stop being like, then you can 
make sure that your bot will permanently be like that with these custom prompts. You can create call to actions as well. So if you want your members to go and vote, if you want your members to go to this website, if you want your members to attend an event, you can have the bot understand that this is important in your community and you want them to create these call to actions when they're prompted accordingly and it's totally relevant to when they should be promoting these call to actions. And then it shows you how to test. So these docs are really, really great. It, it talks you through installations and testing. The AI Community Guru is also really interesting in how it works. You can tell the guru which channels to track. So maybe you don't want it to track all of the channels. It can track your moderators. So you can actually put in the people that are moderating in your community and it'll track their performance. You can also track bots versus humans. And I would love to hear how this goes for people in their Discord servers. Are the bots going to win? I don't know, but I think that it's awesome that you can actually track that. And then their docs give you ideas as to what this AR community guru can help you out with. So I've already mentioned that quite a bit earlier on in the video, but here you can see like some of the other questions that you could ask specifically, like what events should I be hosting? And it'll give you a bunch of ideas based on the discussions and the popularity of the discussions in your community. And it's like talking to ChatGPT. You can have a conversation with this AI community guru. Now what's really, really interesting and it's coming soon, it's not yet available, but I do have people that reach out to me and say that they are struggling to create Twitter content that creates more engagement as part of their general community strategy. And so what's really interesting is that there is going to be Twitter content coming live soon where you can ask the community guru to surface an interesting UCG that would be great for your Twitter account. So if there's stuff in your community that's happening, like conversations or someone's shared a really funny meme, this community guru can pick out certain content that they think would do really well on Twitter. And that's amazing because you could use this content to increase engagement in your community, like on Twitter, on a different platform, but also encouraging new members to see your community via Twitter and hopefully join your Discord. So there you have it an AI community manager and moderator and analytics tool all rolled into one. I'm super excited about this tool. I think this tool will help a lot of you out there that have been looking for something like this for a long time. Share this video with as many people as you know, because anyone in community should be playing around with tools like this. I also have another video where I talk about four other great AI tools that can help you with building your community across all the different stages of building a community from the beginning when you're trying to figure out how to build a community all the way through to actually managing your community. So take a look at that video and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.